Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. In this episode we take a look at all of my Hot Wheels and Matchbox pickup trucks that are not made by United States car makes. So we start with the Japanese. This is the Datsun 620. This is the first release from 2014. So it's got the chrome base, it gets the chrome bumpers, it's got Datsun on the tailgate. black grill headlight piece as part of the interior then also from 2014 we got this red one you can see 2014 on the card so same deco as the orange one different wheels obviously then we get 2015 this green one same, same wheel as, wheels as the orange one so here in this one it's easier to see that the uh, Datsun name is actually embossed in the uh, or molded into the tailgate it's just not tampoed on this one then in 2017 we got this white version Again, same wheels, but they're not uh, painted silver. Then, same year, we got a, a recolor or a reshade in black. Kind of a flat black. It's pretty cool interesting to see is that uh, the seats seem to have some kind of a racing harness at least that's what it looks like it's got, it seems to have two buckles on the seat there interesting And then I don't have all of the versions by the way I'm missing some uh, multi-pack exclusives and some others 2018 I got this one I don't have the super treasure hunt version of this here's a five pack version metallic white Gold rims, it's kind of a nice combo. And the most recent one I got is this flat, right ver flat red version. JDM Legends on the door. And here you got the Datsun painted again in white. Next up, we got a matchbox, the Honda. Ridgeline 2006 model. So it's got some gear in the back, some rope, a case, and then some uh, you know, wrapped up stuff. All kinds, kinds of info or sponsors on the side. Kind of a racing livery. No tampons front and back. It's got a trailer hitch and the sunroof. Got the cup holders in the middle. Here's a green version, Mountain Track Edition 4x4. This 
one does get the headlights, the Honda logo and these small lights down there. We got a variation on this one. This version. So the black tampos on this one are matte and on this one they're glossy. That's kind of a variation to look for if you're into that kind of thing. There's a silver version. Overland Crew 4x4. I don't know what it says beneath Overland. Maybe you can read it on a brick big screen. Again, we get the details in the front. Even got a gold version. There's a ridge line on the side, but no deco in the front. A five pack version in yellow. Canoe tours. Typical for a five pack only side deco. And then it was retooled. And you can see it in the bed. They added some metal for the rivet. There was a rivet before there, but it was underneath the plastic. So there's kind of a, I think, a metal bed underneath this plastic somehow. And uh, so they kind of rearranged the stuff in the back. So the rope is still there, but it's a little bit lower. And then uh, the box is still there too. And the two long wrapped things could be a rifle or something, I don't know. But then the more square wrapped stuff. That's uh, I took that out, and that's pretty much the only difference between the original casting. So this one says Tiki River Cruises, a metal flake white, and then I got this one. Got red rims, number 71. It's kind of a redo of an earlier release. So for those who have all of the examples, they will have an example with a different bed. Might have had mud splatters, the original one. Not sure about that. So that was Honda. Then we go to Mazda. Got the Ripu. So this is the first release from 2017. Flat grey. Got the chrome base, so we get the chrome front end. And chrome exhaust pipes. Fully tampoed in the back, Rotan clan. A lot of... Uh, stuff on the door so it's kind of a blue door with some rust on it and then Mazda and it's got something different on the other side that's interesting you don't often do that kind of cool to see in 2018 you got this white version have the chrome base, rotary power, here's a red version, From the same year as the white one, recolor that red one. Then I believe this was a super treasure hunt also. 
I'll add this one obviously. Nice blue color. Here's a gray version. I will outlaw deco on this one. Then we go to Mitsubishi. There's been a lot of releases of this L200 or Triton uh, by Matchbox. Uh, I only have two examples. The silver one from uh, some kind of a lake. Come visit. Open all year round. It's kind of hard to uh, close a lake I guess. Sunroof. Stuff in the back also. I love it when uh, Matchbox does that, they often do that. It kind of has similar stuff as uh, the Honda had, as you can see. So it has a trailer hitch. Got some running boards here, part of the base. Yeah, it's got a tombstone for a steering wheel. That's disappointing. And I got this green version, industrial build it company. Yes, these obviously are often used by builders. Got the Mitsubishi logo here, front fender. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Motors, it says underneath the logo. Then we get to Nissan. So this is uh, a hard body by uh, Hot Wheels. This was the last release. Doesn't actually say the name on the base. It says Tiger on the hood. And uh, of course, you can see some Tigers tempoed on the side. Big engine in the back. V8. A lot of metal on the bed, of, uh, the bottom of the bed. I don't do that anymore, it even uh, goes all the way down there, all that metal. I'm wondering if it has seats in the back, but I don't think so. It's kind of hard to see. So I've got these little uh, lights here, this little, I don't know, roll bar, plastic part of the interior probably. And a winch in the front. Pretty high up. And Matchbox also did a hard body, but very much low down. 2020 new model. 1995. Again, some stuff in the back, some chains, and a spare wheel trailer hitch. Little step here. Functions as a bumper. Wheel arches are part of, I um, guess, the interior. Yeah, same color as the interior. Got a better steering wheel. No tempos front and back. I like the wheels too. They look a little classic. Still Matchbox, still a Nissan. We got the Junior. This uh, was new in 2017. So we got a gray base and a tan interior and bed floor. It's got nice deco on the back and trailer hitch also. So most of these matchboxes seem to have to get a trailer hitch. Nice disc wheels, and I get some headlight tampos in the front. Very basic interior. So that was the first release and second release in green with this uh, funny shaped blister, kind of a bubble shape. 62 Nissan Junior.
nice uh, green period correct color because the cut the dog dish uh, rims here or hubcaps no stuff in the back on this one and this also got a wheel variation these six spokes and then the only other one I have is this Sriracha Deco one white base green interior and a red body which uh, makes for the Sriracha colors I believe white rims also Still with a Nissan, this is a Titan by Hot Wheels. This was a 2006 first edition. Completely slammed to the ground. A lot of metal on it. Feels pretty heavy. It's got a chrome interior to make for the chrome grille and bumper centerpiece. No chrome in the back, it's got the black exhaust that are part of the black plastic base. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the only other one I have is the last release from 2016, this was in the 5 pack. So, also in a grey but a lighter grey, some flames on the side. Gets the Nissan logo in the back and the tail lights actually wrap around, so that's nice to see. So for a five-pack version, it's pretty surprising that we get this in the back. Not a fan of the green windows though. And Matchbox also did a Titan, a uh, concept version. This is a first release, 2019, 2016 Nissan Titan Warrior. It's in a uh, flat metal, blade, metal flake gray. Uh, we get a tampo on the back with the taillights, the Nissan logo, and uh, some black paint on the handle and this middle parts, middle section for exhausts, and plastic part of the base. And we get a black painted roof. These black parts are part of the interior. No paint on the back. Wheel arches are part of the interior. Running boards are part of the base. Black part here, part of the interior. And then in the front, get the headlights, the Titan name. The Nissan logo is uh, kind of cast into the plastic or molded into the plastic, but it's not painted. Let's look pretty cool. And in, in 2020, we got a very similar version. Uh, it's got gray rims and it's a glossy gray color. So, but other than that, it's pretty similar. So I don't know, uh, because it's a concept version, they can only do this color or what. Not sure about it, but uh, interesting. Then we go to Toyota. Now this might technically not be a pickup truck, because it doesn't really have uh, an actual bed or a bed floor. Um, this is a Toyota off-road truck. This is 2016 release. Nice blue color. It's got red rims. Little uh, bar here in front. Whether it's a push bar or bull bar or whatever you can call them. 
Racing Deco. Got some, uh, or at least one designer name. Brandon Vitaski is on there. Not sure if Shapiro is also a designer. Can't read that other name. So it seems like the engine is in the back, and then there's a spare wheel on this uh, uh, construction thing here. So as you can see, there's not really a floor in the bed. So maybe technically not a pickup truck, but you know, from the side it looks like one. Roll cage inside, center seat, driving position. Interesting. So no co-pilot co on this one, apparently. Then I got this one, this is a 2017. This also had a Super Treasure Hunt version. Falcon livery. Then we get to another Hot Wheels Toyota 1987 Toyota pickup truck. So it's got chrome base, so we get the chrome front end and a chrome bumper in the back. Huge wheels on it. Little uh, roll bar thingy with the lights on top there too. It's got two uh, gear levers. That's a, a nice detail. So we've got this tan color with some side deco. Nothing deco wise front and back. And here I got a 2017 version of it. It says 87 on the side, so that's the year. Hot Wheels Baja Racing on the door. And on the hood, yeah, pretty cool. Then we get to Matchbox 2016 Toyota Tacoma. So this was released in 2017, and then uh, Mattel lost the Toyota license. So we only saw one version of this one. It's this one. This is detachable, so you can see in the bed. It's kind of a, a tent thingy that clicks on top of there. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Tacoma also came in a, a lifeguard version. Uh, I've never seen any of those, so I've never had the opportunity to buy any. No interior, because it's got the extra piece here again. Tan color with the stripes on the side, like we saw on the other one. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Back to Hot Wheels, we get 2010 Toyota Tundra. This is an American Long Card 2013 release. Very big blister. That's a big off-roader. This got the plastic uh, silver painted base. It's kind of special. Don't see that a lot. And these wheels are pretty cool because they have uh, open holes between the spokes. Like that. So again, wheel archers part of the interior. Got a big plastic part here that uh, has some lights in it. This one does seem to have a back seat. 
And then I got a few later versions. This one in yellow is from a five pack. It's got chrome base and front end. And then recently we saw this uh, Tokyo Olympics version. Baseball. Very nice color on this. Combines nicely with the gold rims. And then finally for the Japanese ones we got the Subaru Brat. This is 2015 release. Nice blue color with the gold rims. So chrome base. Got the chrome bumper in front with this brush guard. And a chrome bumper, bumper in the back, but the tailgate sticks out further than the bumper, so might hit uh, the bodywork first. Depending on how, how high the subject is, you are crashing against. Again, we got Brendan Vitusky on the side here. This is a very cool casting. I like this a lot, and what I like most is the seats in the bed. In the reverse direction, with the handles to grip, to hold on for your life. That's uh, just crazy. Love it. Got a recolor, and this was a Kmart exclusive. 2015 red rims so again tan color same deco and also got a premium version of this metal on metal real riders Get the decor in the front, on top, on the side, and in the back. So pretty much full deco. The only thing that's not painted is the, are these lights here on top. That would have been nice, but looks good nonetheless. So then we go to Europe. Got the Lamborghini LM002. This was new in 2015. So pretty short bed because it's got a pretty big passenger compartment. Only four seats. Bit like a Hummer, kinda. So, tempoed in the back. Nicely done. And in the front. Also got a recolor in red. Well, I believe this was the next year, 2017 or 16. Kind of a matte red, same deco, it was a premium version also, I don't have that one, I do have this uh, five pack version in black, glossy black, not exactly the same deco but kind of similar. And that lights with the, some kind of logo there in the middle. Not sure what that says. Then we get to Volkswagen. Here's the 49 Beetle pickup. Chrome base, so we get chrome bumpers. Well, at least in the front. 
It's not really a bumper in the back. Jerry can in the bed. So that doesn't happen very often that a uh, Hot Wheels has uh, some stuff in the back. Sales service and fabrication. Since 1968, Hot Wheels Tire Shop, El Segundo, California. Nice blue color, got the headlights, nothing tempoed in the back. Next year we got it, so this was 2019, the blue one, first release. And next year we got it in red. Pretty much same deco. Although this might also have been 2019, the recolor that same year. So still that got the chrome. Because it's got the same deco, you know, different wheels. And then 2020, we got the moon eyes. And thanks to my buddy David Jones from Twice Diecast, I also got this Dollar General exclusive version of that moon eyes. Very cool. Then there's also by Hot Wheels the VW Caddy. This is the first release from 2015 in orange. Very nicely done in front. It's got the intercooler painted silver too. And it's got the taillights, Hot Wheels logo, the handle, the Volkswagen. Name is embossed in the tailgate, but that is not painted. Got a stick skateboard, so again, we got something in the back there, just like the jerry can and the beetle pickup. Uh, four seat, uh, four uh, point harness in this one too, it seems. Yeah, racing seats. Got some. Uh, Opening roof action going on here, somehow. So got this silver version. Don't know why it's got to have blue windows, but kind of the same deco. So might have been the same year or the next year. Not sure. Five pack version in yellow. Oops, sorry. No deck on the front or in the rear, which is typical for a five-pack version. Emergency support vehicle, surf, rescue. Red interior with the blue windows, kind of a weird combination. But the next one is even weirder, also five-pack. Metal flake white with orange windows and chrome interior. Wow, what were they thinking? And some goofy side deco, yeah. Definitely not a winner, but they made it up with this premium version. Metal and metal real riders, VW service vehicle, always ready to serve you and your Volkswagen. So this is full deco, but without the Volkswagen getting uh, some paint. Volkswagen name, I mean, on the back. Does have the caddy name on it. Nice metal exhaust piece there, like that. Here's a mainline one in green. Nothing front and back, just on the side. And a Zamek one from uh, Mystery Models. Got a hood tempo. And uh, different colored rims front and back. Still Volkswagen, but Matchbox this time. 2000 and L, 2011 first release of this Volkswagen Severo Cross. Uh, I believe this is a South American Volkswagen. 
lot of stuff in the back again. Chainsaw, some rope, again, seems like a wrapped up rifle or something, and then a big box. I don't know. Kind of looks like an oversized battery, but that's not what it's going to be. Uh, all of the ones uh, I have, and it's probably all of the ones that have been released, I guess, have just side deco, which is kind of a bummer because the details uh, of the casting aren't that very well outlined. You can kind of make out the uh, VW logo and the grill and headlights, but it's all very thin. And same goes for the back. So it really, it, this casting really could have uh, used uh, front and back tempos. Anyways, never got them. Uh, this is a recolor from 2011. Volkswagen Severo Cross on the card. So metal flake black with kind of a pinkish interior or purple I should say rather here's a, an American long card 2012 release so here we got a red interior so the um, wheel arches are again part of the interior. It seems like they do that a lot with the pickup trucks. Shock tours. The red version. WWC. Gray interior. Here's a blue one, 2014 copyright. This just says Volkswagen Severo. Doesn't say the cross on the card. Nice blue color. And the last one I got is from a five pack. It's this uh, kind of a metal flake tan, I would call it. Then, still matchbox, we got the Volkswagen Transporter Crew Cab. First, uh, no, second release, sorry, in green. Don't have the first release. It's kind of a light blue with some uh, side tempos. This one got the tempos in the back and in the front. This is a very nice version. Possibly my favorite. This is the empty bed version. There's also a version with stuff in the back. And you can see spare wheel, you know, a duffel bag and some chains. Everything else is exactly the same except for the bed. And then we got it in a 9-pack and also in the, uh, the Germany set, I believe. Well. Definitely the red one, not sure about the yellow one. So only got front deco. It says uh, fire department in German on the tiny little hood or bonnet. Well, I'm not, no, I'm not even sure if this opens in the front because, of course, the engine is in the back. Here's that red version I was talking about. So they all come in two different versions. There was also a bunch of uh, color changer releases of these, but don't have any of those. Those have a plastic body and a metal base. And then, probably my favorite of this whole video, next to the Subaru Brats. Is the 2008 Holden VE Ute SSV. This is the first release from 2010.
very cool looking vehicle I think the stance is very nice too nicely detailed in the back and in the front let's see if we can take a look inside right hand drive as it should be being Australian it's got the cup holders nothing in the back it's a rare thing with Matchbox but you know it would all fly out anyways at the speeds this thing can do then I think this was a second release in red it's got a license plate which I cannot decipher well the other one has a, had a license plate too but it said SSV let's put them in the back there that's kind of more interesting blue version very sparkly blue seems like the same license plate as the red one yeah Then I got this white version on an uh, American long card. Just says holding you SSV on the card. Nice rims with a red ring. Kind of a burgundy interior. Well, we got the side deco. Australia's Mountain Adventure Specialists. Cool. And then it was a retool. We got a green one again. It's got the full name on the card. As you can see, a green one again, a little bit different shade of green. It's got different rims on it, kind of grayish, but uh, pretty much the same deco as the first release. Uh, what was uh, different is uh, again in the bed, there's a metal part. For the rivet, I think it just makes for an easier construction. And then the last version I have is this metallic metal flake purple one. Same deco front and back as uh, the original one. Um, there was actually a um, purple version before, the non retooled version from, uh, I don't know, multi pack exclusive, I guess, or something like that. I don't have that one. Uh, but yeah, so the kind of the retooled ones, uh, these two are actually kind of re releases of former releases. And then the 2021, we get a few new colors. So that's a good thing that this uh, casting is probably here to stay at least for a while because there's a, it's got a lot of fans definitely. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.